Good morning and welcome once again to Children's Time at Central United Methodist Church. You know, when I was a little girl, one of the things I really enjoyed doing with my family was going on a camping trip. We'd get up early and get to the lake. We'd go fishing for uh, part of the day. When we caught enough fish for dinner, we'd go back to our campsite and cook them up. Later on, when it got dark, we'd sit around the campfire and tell ghost stories. Ooh, some of those stories were really scary and I was very frightened. Do you know, even in Bible times, people believed in ghosts? Let me give you an example of it. Remember last week we talked about how Jesus appeared to the disciples after he was resurrected? Thomas didn't believe. Well, you know what? Thomas wasn't the only one who had doubts. Some of the disciples thought that they were seeing a ghost. Jesus said, look, why are you troubled? Why do you have doubts in your heart? Touch my flesh. We know that, that ghosts don't have bodies. And the disciples were still questioning. They didn't say anything. Finally, Jesus said, give me some food to eat, please. So they gave him some fish, and Jesus sat there and ate it. The disciples watched him take every single bite. When he was finished, the disciples were relieved, and they knew that he wasn't a ghost because we all know that ghosts don't eat food, right? <laughs> well, um, Jesus stayed with the disciples for about a month after that, and he taught them all kinds of wondrous things. Finally, before he went back to heaven, he said, um, I want you to be my witness. Go into the, all the world and tell everybody about my life, my crucifixion, my resurrection, and tell them that they can have life after life after death too, if they believe in me. That's what the disciples did. They went everywhere and they told everyone they met about Jesus. They told him about his life, his crucifixion, his death, and how he was resurrected and resurrected and went to heaven, and how they could have that same thing if they believed in Jesus. Boys and girls were called to be a witness to Jesus also. Tell people when you meet them about what he's done for your life, the wonderful things he's done for your life. Will you join me in just a short prayer, please? Dear Lord, we serve a risen Savior. He's alive. Help us to be witnesses of what he's done in our lives so we can bring other people to him. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Boys and girls, do that today. Be a witness for Jesus, okay? And I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.